faithful son, loving husband, the in-touch father all of us would have loved to have. Whimsical, jocular, steady, and really, really good looking. Today, Peter Stone Warner marks 60 years of excellence. It's been a rich, wide-ranging experience. He's a man who keeps a tidy inbox, consistently offers warm, empathic friendship, and creates a Yankee museum in all of our hearts. Happy 60th, Peter. It looks good on you, like you just stepped out of the salon. Good luck with that, dude. stage all over again. Pretty soon I'll be feeding you again. Um, your wife asked us to make this video. Say something, say something. What should I say? Anyways, um, hope you have a great 60th birthday. Hope you like the gift. And uh, we got Eric at the keyboard to play a little jingle. And um, here's to my brother, George Bailiofsky, the richest man in Bedford Falls. Happy birthday, brother. Happy birthday. Hit it, kid. <laughs> I notice a lot of things. I watch you out of the corner of my eye, actually. 
and observe all these great things. And I'm really thankful for that. And also, you are so funny that when I walk into a room and I see you there, I know I'm gonna be laughing, laughing uproariously within seconds and inevitably it always happens. So, happy birthday, Peter. We love, me love you. <laughs> Bye. Like that. I'm funny too. <laughs> Hi, Peter. Uh, no, this is your 60th and I've been there. I've been 60 and now I'm 65 and I wanted to offer a couple of pointers to help you get through the next five years. First of all, I found focusing on appearance and uh, kind of a modern hairstyle helps you feel a lot younger, years younger actually. And uh, that's my first tip. Grace has one now. Peter, keep up the fitness. Do it every day. Hiya, Pete. Hi, Peter. We uh, just wanted to wish you a happy 60th birthday. It's crazy to think that you're 60, although very obvious when we look at you. Uh, Sharon, did you have some nice things you wanted to say? It's not so obvious, Peter. Yes, I'm just very thankful for you, Peter. And uh, you make being with the hoagies a lot nicer. <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> Peter, my favorite uncle, just wanted to say happy birthday. Hope you're having a wonderful day. And um, just think, it's only been 35 years since I was sleeping over at your place and we were playing baseball and you're in television, driving around in your car, listening to Tiffany and uh, playing catch with green tennis balls. <laughs> Good times. Anyway, miss you. Hope you have a great day. You look at the camera. We're all going to say hi, Uncle Peter. We all wanted to say happy, happy birthday. birthday! Yay! <laughs> Do you want to tell Uncle Peter your funny joke? Yeah. <laughs> Norman made us a joke and it's about trains and I thought you might like it. Do you want to tell him? Yeah. Okay, say it. Imagine. Imagine F a train. In a butt train, and instead of doing two two, it did. <laughs> yeah. Happy birthday, Uncle Peter. Uh, you're in my top four favorite uncles of all time. I just want to let you know that. Hope you have the best uh, birthday ever. Happy 60th. Anything you guys want to add? Wish Holly was here to say happy birthday, but uh, she has to work. <laughs> Yeah, but she said to say happy birthday. She just didn't get in on this video because she has to work. Anyway, happy birthday. Enjoy it. Yeah, yeah. happy birthday, Uncle Peter. Yeah, happy birthday, Peter, thanks for being such an amazing, awesome, and hilarious person. I'm funny too. We, we all love you here and hope you have an amazing, happy 60th birthday. And hope to see you very soon. Happy birthday, Uncle Peter. 
Happy birthday, Uncle Peter. No, you say something else. Go ahead. No, you. Um, and Peter, birthday happy. <laughs> Happy birthday, Uncle Peter. Happy birthday. We hope you're having an amazing day. You look like you're 25. No, you don't. What? 15. 15. No. Don't, 35. How old do you think Uncle Peter is? 35 is more appropriate. Uh, That's appropriate. Rinky dinky dink. Skinnamarinky do. I love. You. you. All right. Well, we miss you. We love you. Happy birthday. Have a great day. Mwah. Choo -choo. And, ha and happy birthday from Violet. She's asleep. Oh, see, she gave you a foot. Hello. Happy, 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 happy birthday, happy birthday <laughs> Uncle Peter. <laughs> We've got a haircut. He's getting a haircut. Happy birthday, Uncle Peter. One, two, three. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, Uncle, Uncle Peter. Peter. Happy birthday, Uncle Peter. Happy birthday, Uncle Peter. I miss you so very much and look forward to seeing you soon now that we are back in the same country. I hope you have a wonderful birthday day as well as a beautiful 60th year around the sun. Thank you for being awesome, for being you being the fabulous uncle that you are. All my love. Mwah. I'll take this time to say thanks to Uncle Peter. He's my favorite uncle and he's turning 60. Happy birthday, Uncle Peter. Hi, Uncle Peter. It's Alyssa and Nick, your favorite niece and nephew-in-law. Did you get a haircut? It looks nice. We heard it was your birthday. And we wanted to um, share some of our favorite memories of you. Like when we dated briefly in high school. Best years of my life. Um, so Nick and I dated briefly in high school. Um, very briefly. I finally graduated. And when we would go in the floaty on the Okanagan River and I would sing, hey, yo, yo. Happy birthday. We love you and we miss you and we're sorry we're not there. Bye. I remember this one time. I woke up in a hotel room with my family. I had just had a very realistic dream that I just had to share with someone. So I look over to my mom and I say, Mom, wake up. I have something to tell you. And then I told her about my very realistic dream that was just so important and rocked my world. I said, Mom, Uncle Peter without the T is Uncle Peter. And I just thought that today as we celebrate my Uncle Pierre, that would be important to share, you know? Um, yeah, but one of my favorite things about Uncle Peter is that he always makes sure everyone feels welcome and is uh, always able to make everyone in the room laugh. Um, and I think my favorite Uncle Peter saying is, add a kid. Hey, Peter, coming at you from the West Coast here, Mr. October out here. I appreciate the fact that you're a lifelong Yankee fan. In any way, Mr. May, uh, this is coming to you from your family. You're getting the fuel for life, love from family. That's what it's all about. They are wishing you a happy birthday on your 60th. I know I was one of your fave guys, which I appreciate. I appreciated the support. And at the same time, I don't know about you used to sleep with a Yankee doll. I'm, I'm going to leave that out. Well, I, I got it in there, but, but no, no, no. Uh, I, I ain't going for that one. Anyway, I know you wear your Yankee ginch. And uh, I want to throw a happy birthday at you and make sure that you get love from family and Mr. October. 
And um, you are Mr. May. My birthday is in May, too, May 18th. I'm coming up on 7-5, bro. That is a whole bunch. 15 years ahead of you. But you got love coming from family. This is booked by your family. So that's uh, pretty cool and very, very special. And I'm glad to be part of recognizing you and wishing you a happy 60th. Take care, Peter. Peter and Carol and us to sing around the campfire and others as well. This is a car from Dragon. Open the door and get in. Drive it down the highway. Pull out your pants and grin. When Peter Warner starts to dance, he almost always pulls down his pants. If I don't pee, I'll poop. I don't want to do Yankees! Yankees! 